Okay, my name is Tega and I'm from Delta State. I proposed to my long-term girlfriend early this year and I invited my best friend to come for my wedding. My best friend lives in Lagos and is an artist. I told him about the wedding preparation and told him he's going to be the best man. He accepted and made necessary preparations to come to Delta State. He got to Delta State and got checked into a hotel. I wasn't I wasn't in town at that moment and I promised to be at the hotel first thing in the morning the next day. I told him to be comfortable and I and I had ordered everything and if he needed anything else, he should order it. I also told him to feel free to bring a plus one for my wedding and he told me that it's not going to be an issue because, the, or, because he already had a girl coming in tonight to the hotel and this particular girl and himself already had has history prior to the time he was in Delta State. And we got talking with all the excitement and all. He later asked me for 150,000 Naira that he lost his ATM card and he had network issues with his bank and he would refund me later. He said he needed it urgently to give to the girl that came last night that she said she needed to buy some things for a party she's planning. I had no problem because my friend would always refund me and, and we went upstairs to his room so I could even see the girl when I got to the room, I could not believe my eyes. It was my fiancé who I was supposed to get married to on Saturday on the bed, covering her face with the duvet and crying. Immediately, I entered the room, saw me. She had been begging me since and telling me it was a mistake. Should I have won this marriage? Because I have spent a lot on this wedding, but but don't know if I would ever forgive her or love her the same again. I cannot get the betrayal out of my head. Let's, um, so this is a man, this is a main issue. Let's, 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 let's start with the men. Femi. Let's so let's start with the Femi. You have to, let's, let's I, add this to After God, try the fear men though, and women. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, 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 first of all, me, I'll collect my money back. Even if it's I I'll collect my money back. Oh. Do even I don't stop. What do you mean by collect money back? Like, how? like he, regardless, I think he was the, he borrowed the money from, was he, he collected, I didn't listen to the story very well. But what I could get was like, he found, he found out that he was his fiance that was on yeah. the bed with the friend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you are that what is even penny is that 150k? You want to collect your 150k first. That's what you are saying. <laughs> Let's give me money first before any other thing. After my money, <laughs> we're not start analyzing everything. Boy, the, the betrayal. This is just. So, would you still go on with the wedding? God forbid. I uh, know now. <laughs> well, no, you have spent I... a lot of cash for this wedding now. You have invited uh. a lot of people and all now. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. Well, I don't know if you've ever listened to Princess Story. Um, the Princess, the comedian. I think she was engaged to her husband. I can't really remember the story vividly. And it was very close to her wedding when they separated. And she said that it's better to have a failed engagement than a failed marriage. Yeah. So at that point, we aren't married. So it's better to have a failed engagement than a failed marriage. One, they, can't, they, they will not count it as a divorce dinner. The only concert as a fade engagement, which is still okay. Life will go on. You know, that's my own take. I might be wrong, I might be right. Okay, so Femi is saying that Femi is saying you call the word. Um, so let's just. Uh, the thing is that I, I wasn't really listening to. I was not following up the stories. But I think I will just go into what Femi said also. Kind of okay, so let me quickly recap. I'll recap the story for you. Um, I'll recap the the issue for you okay so this this is the issue on ground presently um the guy is getting married to his girlfriend and he has a friend who's an artist like a musical artist the guy performs goes around and he invited the guy to be his best man the, the man arrives a couple of days before the wedding and the man tells him that he's going to come to the wedding with a babe that he has a babe that he usually sees in um uh, in delta state anytime he comes in and i should just lend him my 150 that the girl that is coming overnight he should sorts in the yasu sorts the girl um and then so he goes to the hotel room i think he wants to either give him the money or collect the money back or so and then lo and behold when they open the hotel room he realizes that the girlfriend is supposed to marry on saturday a few days down the line 
is under the juve with the, the man who should be his best man okay so he's a bit confused because of course the girl is begging she's telling that he's one of he's the devil that did it and all that and he's asking for counsel that should he forgive because there's a very good chance we know we know have found out really if that been somebody else probably we never have found out so he's like, he's like should he forgive her very very close to the wedding let's we now appear insensitive that is breaking off uh, the wedding who will he tell the story so that's the and it's not like the girl knew that it's not as if the girl knew that the artist was going to be his best man in the first place okay if i'm sure if she had known she probably would have said no something like that so so that's the situation of things just quickly okay, what would you so, do you know knowing to me after doing something you're not blaming the devil i don't understand the devil's on his own i tell you it's the devil that made you do it so what I would do first, so after I pay you of I don't even know whether because it's, it's looking like I paid you to go and skip it. My no, no, nah. he, he wanted he wanted to like thanks for coming something now. So he he wanted to like give her, but he he noticed that his ATM card was missing and he had network issues. So he asked his friend, borrow me this 150k. I want to like give it to the girl now. And all those, she said she's planning a party and all, and I want to give it to her because if you remember, okay, on this in the story, there he, he what he wrote rather, he said that according to um, what he wrote, he said that the girl, his fiance, and the best friend, I think they had something before he left Delta State. Do you understand? So he, he did not think of the money as anything, so he knew that he wanted to give it to her. So that's why I asked his friend, and he did not even have issue giving his friend the money. He was like, okay, because he knows that his friend is going to give him back. It was just like, okay, let me just even go upstairs and see this baby we are talking about. And that's when he now met his fiance there. Do you understand it now? Yeah, yeah. Do you get well, it now? I, I, will not, I will not forgive you. I will, I will not forgive you. That, so you will not go with the wedding? Um, uh, well, she's sorry now. She, if, you are, if, you are able to, if you are able to do it, if you are able to do it, I will do it on that day or before the day. Or. It means that you but, can do something more. But, but let me say something. But you know that guys, the guys used to cheat on like a day before their wedding. They'll be like, this is the last night to be. Mm-hmm. But now what? You know, what you know, you know, you know, you know, said that you know, you know, you know, that's what has been everything. So you know that, Susha. No, don't don't start with that, guys. Used to cheat with and all that. Oh, see, see, is that, is me. that you trying to defend guys cheating? The way you are, is that no, no. is that what you are trying to do? I'm, I'm not I'm not defending guys, but you know about of. Gender as they achieve small will be the girls. It's successful. What? That's not the topic of today. That is another, that, but don't okay, say that. That's fine, that's fine. But I'm not exactly. trying, trying to let you yeah. let me go. I will not me, I will not forgive Shao because you cannot do you that. Not that. Yeah, you know. Fair enough. Okay, so that, you're, that's you're, you're not gonna you're not, you won't forgive her. Um okay, that's so too much. Miracle. Your thoughts. First things first, the thing is God actually wanted um, him not to get married first before finding out because even at, during the wedding, his friends will actually be like, this is the guy I actually slept with. And the, the guy will still actually tell the guy that, okay, this was the guy I slept with last time. So it was God that just like, okay, let me just, don't waste your money, don't waste the invitation again, just let me catch this person and that's over. The thing is, there's nothing to forgive there because even if you have to forgive, you will not actually forget. The thing is, you will keep on remembering that okay, this this girl has done this thing before. Even a date to my wedding, she did this. So there's probability that she will do it again inside the marriage. If she does move on, you will find for all that appreciates his love and everything because clearly the girl does not appreciate him because why would a date to your wedding you are going around to you know, skip it so on and I mean, you've been even, you've been doing it even a week for your wedding then not to talk of a date to your wedding so that's it you should just move on and find someone that loves him like that okay. all right so we have, we have we have a new person michael i think we should talk to the men all right michael your thoughts did you hear the oh. story <laughs> I'm not new, but I've been in the background since listening to this story. Oh, okay. So, so, you, but, so this particular person needs your counsel. What would you? Should he call off the wedding? Um, definitely, he should call off the wedding because when you are committed to someone, you shouldn't. There's no reason for you to cheat. You understand? The only person that deserves forgiving just myself, wasting my time on her. 
I don't understand. That's the only one that did not forgive him for himself. So I didn't get. I didn't get the last part of what you committed or not. Do you do you know do you know what guys go through to like to get ready for wedding and like there are so many girls in the world and you choose to get like to spend your entirety with this person and definitely you find out that she's cheating on you. It's very very like you, 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 you in fact you won't get yourself. So I think I have to forgive myself for for wasting my time and spending so much money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so I, I would say this. Um, and we shouldn't be laughing. Okay, so we're going to beg your forgiveness for those people who send these messages in. If if at any point we laughed at the story, please do not do not take it to mean that we don't have empathy for what you are going through. It's just that some things are just plain funny. Okay, so we're not laughing at your story. We're laughing at the comment of. Uh, we're saying so that other people will not be afraid of sending in their emails. Okay. All right. So you have comfort, Mr. Your, your So, every man on this session is ranting, call of the marriage, call of this, call of that. Okay, let's turn the table around. What if it was the guy that cheated? What would have happened? Yeah, I wanted to say that. I want that. to get. If a man cheats now, now go say me the woman forgive him. Forgive him mean, now. You got to I don't understand. <laughs> I'm talking to Michael in particular. You said you're the one that needed forgiveness. Forgiveness for what? <laughs> for wasting his time. I feel like you should have at least given her a second chance. I'm not trying to say what she did was right. Like, you get, it's not proper to cheat. You get, probably this is what she has been doing. Or maybe even better while game, but... You just calling off the marriage is not ideal for me, honestly. It's really not ideal. As long as you feel remorseful for what she did, you shouldn't just call off the marriage like that. Like, you have come a long way. You have made preparations. You have... You have called Tetras or you have booked your hall. What do you mean, bro? You have ah, no, you really, should, you really shouldn't call up the marriage. That's just my own opinion. And I know lots of people are going to come for me. You can see um, maybe there's space already. Okay, come for me. The good thing about things like this is that people will not agree with you. All right, so we understand oh, the angle. Just come for that. I, I, I have to ask you this. Are you saying this because you, you believe this or you're actually trying to probably just get people riled up? You're trying to play the devil's advocate. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not taking the devil's advocate. I'm saying this like from a like from a point of pity. Like we should at least the man should at least forgive the lady because I'm sure that most of these guys here ranting their mother obviously cheated on their father and they forgive them. It's a very simple case to get. What is that? <laughs> okay, so it's so able to respond that place that you are going to come back from there. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> now, serious now. Lots of uh, lots of infidelity marriage. As long as she feels. Okay. Michael, we'll bring Michael back in. Michael, wait, comfort. I want to ask you. Are you trying to say that if this was your, if this was your brother, you would tell your brother to move on? You tell your brother to forgive the girl and go ahead. I, I can't decide for my brother, but if I was to be the man, I'm sure that okay, I've come a long way with this lady. I love her so much. I just feel like, well, this should be enough reason. It's best I won't find her cheating self than something more crazy you get. So. It's more crazy. I can actually forgive you. The thing is that the advice is in both ways. It's in left and the right. Now, it's in the left because we are human and then we are judging from what we see that yes, she has done something wrong. Uh-huh. First of all, for her to even a, 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 let me say a day to your traditional a bit to your engagement, a bit to your traditional marriage. You are still doing hook up. <laughs> it's something to be worried about because it's so certain that in the marriage you can't be faithful. You do get it ahead. And now, if, even if the guy says he's going to forgive, eh, I swear she's going to suffer. Number one, she's going to go through emotional torture because the guy won't believe anything she says if she says she's going to church he won't believe her and again when she gives birth the thing i'm running on the guy's mind is dna is this is that child mine do you get it now and then he might not even be seeing her in the house 
he might end up yes i'm i'm married to her because i cannot waste my money but he's going outside do you get it his attention is outside because he's only trying to cover up the shame of oh i have spent money you know and i cannot lose it now for you to torture yourself again like this as a man why don't you just quit it end it before you start it so you have peace of mind let her go and you go you forgive her she goes you forgive yourself you go so that you can be able to meet another woman and get married to because if not both of them will suffer in that marriage but it has something to do with morality and individual responsibility so it's better for you to save yourself the stress than for you to torture yourself knowingly and now allow the society to help you decide how you should live your love life you better quit it and rest let her go so you go you pick somebody else let her pick somebody else and we move on that is just it this is what i have to say but if he decides to still remain with her because of what people will say he has wasted money and everything then he should be ready to treat her right and do rightly by her that is just it okay so so i'm gonna say a couple of things at this point um young man if you're listening to this young woman if you're listening to this um, do not ignore the behavior the long-term habits of people you are going to spend um, oh yes don't do journeys with okay so do not ignore it not everybody deserves okay to have a family okay not everybody there are people who have problems just i would just say this if you are ready to continue to deal with the problem all of your life then you can enter yeah what is something you are ready to continue to deal with there's a particular psychiatrist there's some psychiatrists that the, the particular psychology psychiatrist rather in family or so i can't remember the exact name they said that 69 percent of problems cannot be solved it can't be solved problems that do not have solutions okay and so if you take those kind of problems then you will need the patience of of job to deal with them the way not the <laughs> god has delivered you so and if you decide that you want to go in fully it is your decision i will not tell you whether you should go ahead or not but if you do not have any guarantee that it will not continue then okay so we'll move on to we still have um, the next um what's the next one but wait first though do you know that uh, this story you just said now eh it's really no jokes the same thing happened in my church 2014 <laughs> 20 i'm serious with my food chest 2014 in okay, Wari, well, delta state this particular girl said was, delta state okay yeah all right this, this, is, this particular girl was dating this guy this guy then finished from a suit and then he went for service all the money he got from his service he was spending it on this girl, training her and taking care of her family. Only for the guy to finish school, he got a job. He was working with then Diamond Bank, you know, before um, uh, the bank was, um, you know, merged. And then when he lost his job, this girl moved. She now moved to his friend. She moved to his friend. The, the friend told the guy like i ah, see your baby's all over me oh. the guy well i really say yes he she was staying with the guy i see going out with his friend this guy he didn't leave her oh. he kept on taking care of her thinking maybe she was going to change and everything he would <laughs> she would leave this guy and travel to meet another person and that was how she was doing it doing it doing it until somebody said he was going to marry her problem happened she has promised three different men that i will marry like they proposed to her she said yes i'll marry you one i'll marry you two i'll marry you three three of them separately <laughs> now those three didn't know that there's somebody in worry delta state 
you know, that is taking care of her. You get it now. On the day, she was not keeping it on a very low. She finally got, uh, got engaged to someone who the family thought was better of because the guy was in the medical line. You understand? And now this, this first guy who finished from ASUS couldn't take care of her because he had no money. He, he was sacked from the bank, so he couldn't get a job. So he was just on the streets trying to look for something to do and stuff like, like that. She was still going back to meet that guy. She will collect from this guy, collect from the one who engaged her in worry, collect from the remaining three that engaged mm. her in different places. The court <laughs> was so short. The one who, who engaged her in worry wanted to know about her ex who was a banker. Come and see fights. <laughs> <laughs> they had a very big fight, landed up in the police station. That one did not end there. They proceeded to getting married in the church on the day of the wedding. Come and see what happened. The three other guys that engaged her got to know that she was getting married. They came, <laughs> they came to, to church that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they came to church that day. The one that trained her and her family. <laughs> Are you serious? came to church with his friend, without his particular friend that she was going out with. Over, that yeah. You need to see the mother kneeling down and was begging that they should not go inside to her marriage daughter. Because it's just like four men now. Imagine it all the church. <laughs> to go and get the daughter ring. And when there's another man in, in the church, on the altar. <laughs> this, is all, this is all really, really, really. I can't it believe was, it. It was a disgraceful thing. It was a very disgraceful thing. You know, and then they were just, the mother was outside. She was begging. She was kneeling down, begging, begging, please, 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 please. God did it. Finally, they did the wedding and they went to the reception. These guys intimidated this her husband eh? like mm. when they were dancing they just came they circled around her removed the man and and they were just spraying her money she was so ashamed like <laughs> the news was just going on like what is happening what is happening what is happening what is happening god now did it that that guy now got the first guy from a suit now got another job again with another bank so he now started getting small cash do you know that after the marriage to the so-called one that was important to her she was going back to her ex who just got a job she's possessed she's okay possessed. so I, I, at this point let me just say this uh, it will be i don't think that those, are, those men are not victims those men are not victims they are they are accomplices <laughs> You're not victims. You can't call that. You're not no. being victims. <laughs> she was going back to the guy, you know. Anna, she was begging that guy to, you know, to uh, <laughs> marry her. That that guy is truly the love of her life. That she wants to leave his guy who is in the medical line, who has married her, not up to two weeks. Not so up to two weeks. Life. This is okay. a family issue. Those two men got into another fight and ended up in the police station. They were they not who is the husband? Who is the boyfriend? This one said, I'm the husband. This one said, I am the first boyfriend. I train her. Okay, what do you want? You, this woman, what do you want? She said she wants her first boyfriend. So now are you willing to end the marriage? with your husband who is a doctor she said yes okay i asked first boyfriend are you willing to take her back he said no he doesn't want her but he just wants to let the husband know he can have her if he wants that if that's why the fact that she's married to him if he wants her he can also have her crazy things are really really happening so for me I feel that this guy, you should let go, just like what you have said. 
he should just let go and move on there are better girls out there better ones all right so basically the summary of that particular case is that the guy should just call up the wedding if you don't want to end up in a situation where you get messed up all right that's the summary